is BTS ARMY the biggest fandom in the world? No. That's it. That's the whole video. Thank you all for watching. I'm kidding. Come back. We're not done. Technically, BTS ARMY is not the biggest fandom in the world. That would be the collective of Marvel fandoms. They have decades of comic books, TV shows, and the most successful cinematic universe in all of history to make them garner an unprecedented number of fans. You could also argue Star Wars. Their movies, although the most recent trilogy hasn't had the best critical acclaim, are well known and liked. People are still watching The Mandalorian. But those are groups of fandoms. The Marvel fandom is composed of fans of the comic books, movies, TV shows, and whatever other content there is for it. Not everyone is fans of the entirety of Marvel. Sometimes people even differentiate themselves from each other depending on what content they follow the most. They are THE Marvel fandom, but they're not connected together. Then with Star Wars, it's the same, where people are separated depending on what they like. There's also further separation with these large brands. You can say you like the Marvel movies, I watched all of them, but I wouldn't say I'm in the Marvel fandom. So even though Marvel and Star Wars are well known and liked, you can't say they have the biggest fandoms. They have public presence. Comparing ARMY against fandoms of entire industries and interests like anime or cartoons, or fandoms of entire extensive franchises and cinematic universes like Marvel and Star Wars, frames the numbers incorrectly. We should compare it one-on-one -on -one with fandoms of one interest, but because of how I talk about numbers in this video, I can't do that. Take this as a little disclaimer to not take fandom numbers at face value. I'll do my best to interpret them accurately for you. Now, let's answer the question. But before we can even do that, we have to compare ARMY to other K-pop fandoms. We can't answer, is BTS ARMY the biggest fandom in the world, before answering, is BTS ARMY the biggest K-pop fandom in the world? The fandom is a part of the K-pop fandom's collective on the internet and in real life. We have to move beyond K-pop before tackling other internationally present fandoms. When comparing ARMY with other K-pop fandoms, it's undeniable through album sales and music platform streams that they are larger than all of them, by a long shot. In 2017, Tumblr released the fandom metrics in depth, where even then BTS were pulling numbers that went well beyond other groups. Over 228 days, there were 200 million engagements on posts about K-pop. 40.10% of those engagements were for BTS. Then the gap between them and the second place group, EXO, is huge. EXO only made up 12.46% of those engagements. Then the numbers continued decreasing. Let's make this into a pie chart and compare the numbers. Here, we can visualize the information and get a better idea of how to compare BTS to the rest of K-pop. To make it clear, these are statistics from 2017. In 2020, Tumblr hasn't released another in-depth like this for K-pop. It does have weekly rankings for K-pop tags, though, and BTS have not left the number one spot for three years. At the end of 2020, BTS was the top group of the year in Tumblr's 2020 year in review. Today, the growing gap between ARMY and other K-pop fandoms has grown more than ever. Before we talk about it, I'd like to give a little disclaimer. The statistics and data we will be going over are done for informative purposes. I don't want anyone to use the information to hurt each other or for negative comparison, but I know I can't stop people. If anyone does do so, please know that I am viewing the information objectively to further my argument for this essay not to bring shame or hatred to the groups. Please be kind. Now let's run it down with social media statistics. Twitter. Here's the follower account for the top 20 most followed K-pop groups on Twitter. I didn't include duplicate accounts for the same group. There's at BTS underscore TWT, but there's also at BTS underscore Big Hit that has a lot of followers too. I'm keeping things simple. Groups only appear once on this list with the account that has the most followers. As we can see, there's a huge gap between BTS and the other K-pop accounts. But you may be saying, Crystal, BTS's account is older than a lot of these K-pop groups' accounts and probably has a lot of inactive followers. You can't compare follower accounts like that. It's not fair. And you're correct. BTS had their account made in 2013, while a lot of the other groups on this list had their accounts made in 2017 and 2018. So we're going to move on to the average amount of likes with each group's last five tweets. I took all the likes from the group's last five tweets, added them together, divided by five, that's the average, and then I put it on this graph. And now what do we see? There is still a considerable gap between BTS and other K-pop groups. But what about Tumblr? On Tumblr, you can search a tag, and there's a little button that you can click to follow that tag. These are the numbers for the followers of a Tumblr tag. Again, we can see a considerable gap between BTS and other groups. But what about Reddit? Reddit's user base is primarily male, but you would probably expect the boy group subreddits to be considerably larger than the girl group subreddits because of what we saw from Twitter and Tumblr. But no! Girl group subreddits are very popular, with even Luna, a lesser popular group, being the K-pop group subreddit with the fourth most members. We can see that there's still a huge gap between BTS and other fandoms. But what about Facebook? I redownloaded Facebook to look at these statistics, so please appreciate it. 
because I watched The Social Dilemma, and I got terrified, and I still am. So anyway, these are the 20 most followed K-pop groups on Facebook. There's BTS on the top again, but the gap is less now on Facebook. The interesting thing about Facebook is that it has an older demographic, so we see older groups like Big Bang and 21 on top there. There's also CN Blue. They're not on any other graph on this list, but that's a graph for Facebook. Now, let's go check Amino. Here's the number of members for the top 20 K-pop Amino communities. These are group communities, not the general K-pop communities like the K-pop Amino or K-pop fanfiction Aminos. Again, there's the gap. The ARMY Amino is actually the second largest Amino community on the entire platform, right behind the anime Amino. This gap is considerably large. But what about Instagram? Here's the numbers for the top 20 K-pop groups on Instagram. I didn't include individual idol accounts, but I do acknowledge that some of the numbers get complicated because some members of the group have individual accounts and others don't, and sometimes no one has individual accounts, or sometimes it's a personal account, and other times it's an official account. So just to clear everything up, we're going to compare group accounts only, and it doesn't matter if it's a personal group account or an official group account. If it's an account shared by all the members of a group, then we're going to count it. We can see a gap and large difference between BTS and other K-pop groups. BTS and Blackpink are both followed much more than other K-pop groups. This is pretty interesting as it differs from the other platforms. Instagram is one of Blink's, Blackpink's fandom, most active platforms because each of the Blackpink members have a personal account on there. Their accounts have more followers than the official Blackpink Instagram account. And if we look right here, Stray Kids is in the fourth spot, differing from their spots on other platforms. This is due to their account being a personal account and not an official account. Official accounts usually have less followers than a group's personal account, or personal accounts for individual members. We already talked about the Blackpink members having more followers than their official accounts, but so do EXO members. It's not an uncommon trend. Next, we're going to do the number of posts on the group's Instagram tag to measure their fandoms more accurately. There's the gap again. But what about TikTok? TikTok. Let's look at those group followers. Now, that's just a crazy number. TikTok in general has been pretty big because of the platform's ubiquity across multiple countries. And still, BTS is number one, and there's the gap. Now, let's do the numbers for a group's tag views on the platform. Still, the gap. These numbers are now measured in billions instead of millions like the other graphs, too. Fun fact, Jungkook is the most viewed TikTok hashtag on the entire platform for a person. It's just something to keep in mind that BTS's presence is so big on there. ARMY is pretty big on all platforms so far, but let's do one more. What about YouTube? Here's the top 20 most subscribed K-pop groups. There's a gap between them and BTS with other K-pop groups though. Even though BTS is number two, this shows consistency in the data where ARMY exists in large groups on each platform universally. They're not only big on one platform, they're big on all platforms. Those are all the stats. I left the Google Sheets link in the description. You can look at the numbers yourself. Disclaimer, yes, when looking at these statistics, we should consider that BTS is a very common acronym, meaning behind the scenes. We can think the same about all the other statistics that quantify the tags. Red Velvet is a type of cake. Twice is when something is done two times. There's also an anime character named twice from My Hero Academia. Day 6 can be used when someone is doing daily posts. Blackpink can be a color combination. Stray Kids can reference actual stray children in real life. XO is a prefix that means outside or external. TXT is the common shortening of the word text and is used to reference a post mainly made of text. 17 is literally a number. Please don't look at these numbers and think, ah, yes, my fandom has exactly this many people. No. It should look at relatively to see how active the fandom is on each platform and how much of the fandom is on that platform. It's not a total concrete number, only idea of how big the fandom is. But because BTS's numbers are significantly higher on multiple platforms, we can move on from comparing them with other K-pop groups. Moving on, ARMY is the largest K-pop fandom and that is irrefutable. That's not to say other K-pop fandoms are small. Oh no, they're pretty big too. ARMY's just significantly bigger. It's like comparing city populations. They're all cities, but some cities are just significantly bigger than others. It's like comparing Seattle with Tokyo. Think of it like that. So let's compare ARMY with other large fandoms then. These are the mega fandoms. Keep my disclaimer at the beginning of the video in mind as we look at these numbers. What's important to know on the side is that fandoms are not always connected together under one interest. Even in K-pop fandoms, some people don't consider themselves fans of the entire group, or of everything a group does. There's a lot that we can't put exact numbers on. We're going to compare the numbers of the collective people who follow an interest, but may not participate in an interest fandom. There's a lot more discussion that comes to what makes a fan, and who to consider as a part of a fandom, and who isn't. But I'm not going to define that for you, as fandoms are complex. 
to define who's in a fandom and who isn't ends up gatekeeping. In order to foster a healthier fandom mindset, we'll just consider anyone who's a part of these numbers as in the fandom. I know that's not the most satisfying answer, and if you can think of one, please feel free to comment about it. Back to comparing ARMY with other large fandoms, we're going to do fandoms like Harry Potter, Marvel, Star Wars, Pokemon, and other mega fandoms. We'll go through the numbers, but we're also going to go through a couple other things too, like cultural impact and public presence. These are the fandoms that set trends, create mindsets, and overlap with each other to contribute to larger fandom culture. These are society's biggest fandoms. First off, let's determine the biggest fandoms using social media data and polls from people who've previously taken on this feat. We'll start with something familiar, Tumblr. At the end of 2020, Tumblr released their top 20 of 2020. These are the 20 most active tags of the year. There's BTS at number 4. All these other fandoms are the big names on the platform too. Animal Crossing rose in popularity last year due to quarantine. Steven Universe dominates on Tumblr with hundreds of posts made about it every day. It's been popular for years with an extremely enthusiastic fandom. Then we have BTS. It's among a couple of these Tumblr dominant fandoms. Like look, there's Star Wars. Lower down, we have Avatar, which made a comeback due to it being put on Netflix. My Hero Academia, which is one of the most popular anime series right now worldwide. Pokemon, which is an old and active fandom. She-Ra, which has a newer fandom, but was incredibly popular due to its representation and storyline. Sanders size, there they are. They're also a big fandom on Tumblr, partially because the creator of the series, Thomas Sanders, is well known within the community. We can clearly establish that on Tumblr. ARMY are one of the biggest and most active fandoms there. But let's look at the tags. Here's the top 10, because everything else is under a million. No, general tags like anime, k-pop, and cartoon aren't included. Also, there's really no need for a graph because Tumblr doesn't break down the numbers enough for us. When it says 1 million, it just says 1 million. It doesn't say 1.1 million, not 1.8 million. Well, we'll just never know. If you don't see a fandom on here, it doesn't mean that they're not an influential fandom. Your fandom can still have presence and influence, even if it doesn't have a lot of people in it. And even then, some fandoms almost made the list. This list isn't meant to insult anyone, it's just to quantify it so we can look at the numbers. Also, if I forgot a fandom, which would be really embarrassing because I spent a long time collecting all the data for this, please comment down and share it. I know there's only 10 fandoms I'm showing here, but I did look through the tags for over 50 fandoms. And you may be going, Crystal, Marvel, and Avenger are the same thing. Actually, we're going to count it here for perspective on the Marvel fandom size and to go back to what I said earlier. There are a lot of people specifically interested in certain parts of Marvel and not others. The Marvel fandom is huge because there are so many different characters and types of content under it. Some people only follow certain things under Marvel and not the entirety of it. This data is evidence of that. These are some of the largest fandoms on Tumblr. Keep these in mind. Let's look through a few more articles and statistics. Fansided 2050. Fansided is a sports lifestyle entertainment magazine. There's a lot of information on this because it's a top 2050 in multiple categories. I'm going to point out what's relevant for this video, but the link is in the description if you want to scroll through the entire thing. Go ahead. How Fansided quantifies a fandom is by fan vote, search score, and social follows. They've done this type of list in previous years too, but in 2020 they did this version. They used three key statistics, but they also said our editorial team dove deep into the presence and identity of each of the nominated fandoms. And our team took into account our long-standing values of magnitude, a fanbase's size and scope, legacy, longevity and loyalty of the fanbase, and passion. But buzz was the most important. If the fans of a player, team, or entertainer has buzz, we see them all over social media. They are inescapable. They dominate every physical and virtual water cooler conversation. In summary, they tried their best. I actually have a few problems with how they gather the data here. I have no clue how they determined the fan vote search score and social follows, and they give no context to how they did so. The 79.9 million seems like it's a combination of the following numbers from multiple platforms. For BTS, it says 79.9 million. I don't know where they got the number, and there is no information on how they got it, but I'm just throwing it out there, you know, like maybe it's a combination of their followings on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, you never know. For fan vote, I don't remember voting for this at all. There was no sort of fan vote that went out. The number is like around 40. And does that mean that the people on their team voted? I don't know. I checked a couple voting organizations on Twitter, like BTS Voting Org, and they didn't tweet anything out about it. I was in ARMY last year too and doing voting, and I feel like I would have seen it if there was a fan vote. I googled it, and there was nothing on a fan vote I could find anywhere. So what is the fan vote? Also, search score is a whole different thing. I have no clue what that is. 
but I digress. We'll talk about that in a bit. Let's go over the relevant information. BTS are ranked number two in the music category. Taylor Swift is number one. There's actually BTS at number two, then K-pop itself at number 19. Overall, ARMY is ranked at 23 on the chart out of 250 fandoms. Then the number one fandom, according to Fan Sided 2050, is the Los Angeles Lakers. I understand that Fan Sided has a lot of sports focus, b- but really? I think that placements on this list are interesting. Baby Yoda is number three and is considered a celebrity. Taylor Swift is 10, which makes sense because she had a great year last year. Folklore is pretty good. Uh, there's Animal Crossing at 21. Okay, I get that. Marvel is at 30, though. That's interesting because I would assume Marvel would be above it. But wait, so many of these placements on fan side don't really represent the biggest fandoms the best. These are the fandoms that caused the most buzz last year, of course. Marvel didn't release any movies last year, so it makes sense that they're below Animal Crossing. But it still doesn't represent fandoms properly at all, even the buzz around fandoms. Maybe we should get something more fitting to what we're looking for. We're looking for fandoms, more specifically fandoms that engage in fandom culture, with fan content like fan art, fan fiction, and fan edits. They also engage in fan interaction, too, online and offline. There's fan accounts, like on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr, and fan activities like creation weeks, zines, and hashtags. So, sports fandoms wouldn't count for what we're trying to do. Let's move on from Sam Sided and try someone else's statistics. List Challenges 102 Popular Fandoms List Challenges is a website with lists you can make to collect statistics easily. There's over 130,000 lists on the site, with some lists reaching over a million participants. This list, called 102 Popular Fandoms in particular, has garnered 17,430 participants and have a pretty good graph depicting the data. So let's look at it. Maybe we can find the biggest fandom here. On this list, BTS are at rank 50. They are the 50th most chosen fandom that people say they are a part of when participating in this list challenge. We have Harry Potter at number one, so we conclude that Harry Potter is the biggest fandom, right? No, we can't. There's some glaring issues with this list. First off, it doesn't have that many participants. 17,430 participants may sound like a lot, but remember the Tumblr tag followers we were looking at? Yeah, that number doesn't compare at all. Second off, the choice of what to consider a fandom. There's YouTube. Does this mean YouTuber fandoms? Because you need to separate those, you know? The fandom, with a PH, of Dan and Phil is different from the fandom of Minecraft YouTubers. You can't just lump it all together. That's like me asking people if they're fans of Twitter. No, they're not fans of Twitter. They're just using the platform to talk about their fandom things. They're fans of the people and media on the platform, not the platform itself. You can't have a stan account for a platform. I mean, unless you have a fan account for the YouTube CEO or something. Someone out there has probably made that. I can't stop you. Maybe you love the algorithm. I don't know. But it doesn't make sense to have YouTube as their own entire fandom. That's like the problem I brought up earlier with the Marvel fandom, where it's made up of fandoms that are separated from each other, but under the same brand. Also, Disney is in second place. Disney is much too broad of a brand. You could put Cinderella, Aladdin, Mulan, like the separate movies, in the franchises. It's just too broad. Additionally, the 102 fandoms don't even encompass some fandoms that are very much known to be large. There's more large fandoms out there. Some really big ones just aren't there or are terribly underrepresented. This list is from three years ago. There's no My Hero Academia, no Markiplier, no Naruto, no Fairy Tale. They don't even know Doctor Who. It's Super Who Lock, not just Super Lock. There's some glaring issues with these statistics exactly like the fan cited 2050 one. That's the problem. My biggest criticism of these articles is that they lack the consideration of all fandoms, especially ones from Asia and that are female dominated. They're limited. Where's Supernatural? Their fandoms spawned popular fanfiction writing tropes and dominated an entire platform for years. What about K-pop? They take over on social media and are literally everywhere, being some of the most vocal fandoms online. In anime fandoms, consider book fandoms of books other than Harry Potter. Consider YouTuber fandoms. There are multiple YouTuber fandoms that are not all the same, even though they come from the same platform. Consider Directioners, too. They dominated social media before ARMY as fans of One Direction. Consider more fandoms. Now you're probably saying, wait a minute, Crystal. Are you saying that we can't actually determine the biggest fandom in the world? And yes, you are correct. We can't. 
and I can't give a satisfying answer to what the biggest fandom is. Possibly, it can be Harry Potter. It could be Marvel. But we can't know for sure until someone out there takes the time to consider and include every fandom when gathering their statistics. If they're going to do a fan vote, they need to promote it properly so that way it reaches as many fans as possible on multiple platforms. They need clearer methodology and a better definition of what fandom is. They need parameters and they need to decide those parameters fairly. We need to include fandoms worldwide with all demographics and of all types of media. Quantifying fandoms accurately begins when we start tearing down social barriers, including everyone. Not just fandoms of primarily male demographics, not just fandoms of media created by white people, not just fandoms in America. That is when. You didn't think this video would turn into a criticism about fandom data, did you? Me neither, but we're here now. Even for my statistics in this video, I did not include Weibo, which is the number one social media platform used in China. There are entire fandoms that are separated solely on that site that I will never get to see or understand because I can't access that platform. We can't include them, which puts all these statistics in jeopardy. We're missing a huge part of fandom culture because of social barriers. Think of these statistics and information as an idea of how big fandoms are, but not hard, concrete evidence of the fandom sizes. And then we have to come back to ARMY. Let's try to answer our question at least. Is BTS ARMY the biggest fandom in the world? I, I don't know. I cannot answer that truthfully and be confident in my answer. ARMY may not be the biggest fandom when it comes to individual people who are fans of the common interest. We do know, though, that it is the biggest fandom when it comes to connection, where fans can communicate with each other and pass information on easily. Remember how ARMY has a presence on multiple platforms? It is the biggest educated fandom that knows how to navigate charts and media across platforms. We have armies who are journalists who are philosophers, who are writers, who are statisticians. We have armies that know what they're doing and know how to make BTS seen by the rest of the world. It is the biggest organized fandom that has the systems and accounts put in place to properly assemble to accomplish a goal. So, I don't know. BTS ARMY may not be the biggest fandom in the world. We can't determine that at the moment because of faulty mythology and failure to be inclusive. But ARMY is big in its activity, connectivity, and overall presence online and offline worldwide, and that's noteworthy. Fandoms can have all the people they want, but it's what those fandoms do that leave the biggest mark on fandom culture itself. But how did ARMY get here? How did it become so big? How did it amass so many members? Well, that begins with BTS themselves, with who they are and the message they spread. They make the fandom what it is as the fandom's main interest. They are key to making possibly the biggest fandom in the world. Maybe we'll be able to confirm that someday, but just not today. Thank you for watching this video. If you want more videos like this, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter and Tumblr for updates. Thank you to my real life friends who encourage me to make these videos, my online friends who listen to my rambles, my mom, and to Google Sheets for existing. Have a wonderful day and please remember to stay thoughtful. Cue the ad! I know I said late February and now it's March, okay? Just give me some slack, life's hard. <laughs> also, this may or may not have been just one giant advertisement for the Army Census data that's coming out soon. You should go check it out at Army Census on Twitter. And also, they're going to release it. It's going to be cool. Yeah, go do that. No, 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 no.